Jacob, there is a paranormal storm blowing across the universe moving this way. All the supernatural elements are coming together for the perfect paranormal storm. You need to get to the new Eden parallel universe for the conversion before the rise of the blood moon. Ethel, I know the supernatural gears are turning now with extreme force. The blood moon quantum mechanics filled me in. Jacob, you're being tracked by a Gaussian blue demon cat, being followed around 600 feet to your right. Ethel communicates with Jacob through psychic thought and text messaging in the sky. Jacob's text messages appear in the sky above Ethel. Ethel is a demon fisher, and Sanita who travels as a scout for Jacob. He's known her since childhood in the current timeline, but, she traveled with the Blood Moon Minstrels with Jacob in Europe, during the Black Death germ warfare years during the Dark Ages, the first use of germ warfare by Drax. Ethel, will it attack? Are we in a Drac vampire gameplay on our, T? Reptilian television. There are two breeds of cats in my conspiracy world of the paranormal. Glossian white cat and the Glossian blue demon cat. Reptilian blood drinking vampire Drax are afraid of Glossian white cats. They have a phobia around these cats won't get near them. I keep around seven Glossian whites around, around my underground home in the woods, in Hex County for protection from Drax, trying to enter at night. The Glossian Blue is a demon cat, the Blues are sometimes sent by the Drax, to where there are Glossian Whites, to confront them, to cause distraction, as the Drax are always trying to trance me, especially for a reptilian gameplay which is broadcast on RT Reptilian TV, to the 9th Draconia Sector, they sometimes put them aboard Rosie Red Lips Ghost Train, Rosie releases a Glossian Blue Demon Cat on the train in a bizarre reptilian gameplay with unsuspecting trance passengers, brought into a reptilian vampire drag gameplay, to be broadcast live on RTTV. Jacob, don't know if the gauzy and blue will attack, I strongly suggest you and Amit Yell pick up your speed, also Mark is waiting at the Celestial Green Gate opening. He wants to give you something concerning the abandoned alien Anu, Naki baby you found in the woods, you've got a half mile to go. Ethel communicates with Jacob through psychic thought and text messaging in the sky. Amit yell, Ethel says we need to pick up the pace, we're being tracked by a Glossian Blue, the Celestial Green Forest is half a mile from here. Once we're in the Celestial Gateway the Vampire Drax will stop their broadcast and gameplay, they cannot enter there, we'll lose the Gaussian Blue. Ninth Sector Vampire Drax were watching our journey being broadcast live to the Celestial Green Forest to meet up with our doppelgangers including Rosie Aid Lips opposite in the new Eden Parallel Universe timeline. They released a Glossian Blue to make the show more interesting. Jacob, I saw Mark standing by a tree then he disappeared. Amit yell, Ethel just relayed, you saw his hologram, the cat, will be showing holograms too, so be careful, as to what is real. Yell, you and the unknown angel, take the northern path up ahead. The Glossian Blue and Mark are interested in harassing me. I'll meet you at the Celestial Green Forest Field opening. Jacob, I'll meet you at the Celestial Green Forest Gate. I have something important to tell you about the abandoned and unaccepted. You found in the woods. <laughs>
Mark projected his image along the way. Sooner or later, I knew the real Mark would appear. Gaussian blue. Gaussian blue. Gaussian blue. I keep thinking, wondering, if that demon cat is going to crawl up my back and start scratching, gnawing away trying to eat my soul. Jacob, the real Mark is up ahead, at the celestial green forest gateway. It's not a hot band, he wants us to sing you a song, info about the alien baby you found. He sure is screaming with you, he found. <laughs> 
trying to get my attention, hope that I meet with his doppelganger in the parallel universe. He's not so fucked up. Jacob, I see you made it here to the Celestial Green Forest Gateway. Listen to what I have to tell you as promised. Like the old days, I will tell you the story of the alien baby, in song like we once did to kings. I do miss the old days Jacob, when we were friends traveling through Europe, with Nelly Noel, riding into towns, singing playing those lutes, with the Blood Moon Minstrel. Mark Draco began to sing. He sang like the mark I used to know, when we traveled with the Blood Moon Minstrels long ago, singing this beautiful very old ancient and Anaki song of a long long time ago, written 6000 years ago by a traveling supernatural minstrel gear song called Visions, a tale of an celestial Anunnaki baby who was found abandoned, who became a messiah, a prophet, a celestial green flower child, a supernatural gear on the planet Nabiru, is it the same infant I found in the woods at the Apollo Park in Land Field? Time is now. 